hi we are learning coding igniter and in this part we will create a sign up form right using bootstrap 3 a uh, bootstrap 4 sorry bootstrap 4 right so previous part we have done this nice carousel slider using bootstrap 4 and in this part we will create a sign up uh, form right so let's go to our project so ci series is our project and these are the files and folders of code igniter so let's go to application go to views right and here we need to create our view right so create a new view right so sign up dot php you can give it any name right so this is the sign up dot php just drag it here and drop it here right so let's go to a uh, bootstrap 4 just type it here bootstrap 4 and this is the download bootstrap and click get started and here we need to include this cdn file inside a header and there's three files include in footer.php right so let's open this files uh, go to application go to views right and here is the two files header and footer just drag and drop it here right so previously we have uh, done this three files of bootstrap or uh, uh, bootstrap for js files and uh, header uh, this is the css file of bootstrap 4 right which we have uh, included in our previous part so if you don't know you can uh, copy this link just click it here copy and paste in here right and in a footer you can paste uh, this three files right you can copy and you can paste it here right so let's close this th uh, those files right and uh, we need to go to example and here we need to find uh, this form which is sign in form right we can change uh, sign into a sign up right so we need a different form i think this one is perfect right so it's uh, nice when we click this is the nice pop up and whatever you will type uh, you can uh, see placeholder is nice you can see right whatever you will type placeholder is super so we will make uh, this form and we will this is the sign in form so we can replace it to a sign up right so so view the source page right and we need to this form just copy and uh, just copy and just paste it here right so this form we have a copy and paste but this sign up dot php will not directly work without controller right so we need to uh, create a controller so here we need to create our sign up controller so let's create a sign up controller just right click php class and uh, sign up sign up ctrl and you can see sign up ctrl dot php right so class name and the file name should be same just finish it so let's remove the comment just little bit zoom in and just remove this comment as well so extend ci controller right and call the constructor right and here we need to call uh, create a method which is public function index this is the default method of uh, any class of controller right so th here we will uh, load our view of sign up this load and this load view and our view name we need to paste it here just go back back code view and this is the sign up right just copy the name and paste it here right so just copy this controller and paste in url right and hit enter so uh, sorry just forward slash and hit enter so you can see this is the floating label this is this form uh, we have included and url is working right but this form is not look like this right so we need to make like this we need to include header and footer as well just paste it here and paste it here right so we need to change its header which is a uh, with this one header and this is the footer right so we need to change footer right control s for save and refresh so it's a it's a looking nice but it's not it's still is it's not look like this right so we need to make like this just close it right again view the paste source and here is the floating label css click it here and we need to just re we need to copy this code here to here just copy and go to our own style dot css go to vendor stint you can create your style sheet just drag and drop it here right and bottom of uh, uh, our code we need to paste right so control s for save and let's refresh it's still not look like this right so what do you want to do that just we need to scroll up 
right and this code is important for the root right just copy and you can paste inside a styler CSS you can paste anywhere I'm pasting it here control s for save ls refresh right it's not showing just just right click with the source page right and click it here and let's refresh right and refresh so it's uh, looking nice right but this form is a sign sign in form so we need to replace to a sign up so we need to email address right password and username three fields we need right so let's close it uh, and uh, let's uh, sign up controller also close it and we need to uh, we need to uh, uh, build from control this content we need to replace uh, we need to remove right just remove this right and refresh this uh, content has gone and the floating level is the sign up uh, form right s i g n sign up form and uh, yes and for username we need to just copy right and paste it here and this is for input type text right and input username user name just copy this and paste it here right and give it an attribute which is name because we will collect the data from here to a database right so just change the placeholder as well <laughs> enter username okay choose username okay username you can type it like this username and it's auto focus we need to one time because already we have added right and and the button uh, and the button it has a field which is sign in we need to remove this uh, uh, checkbox and just replace this button to a sign up right so so remove the checkbox this is the checkbox and this is the sign up button so we need to sign up right sign up and refresh so this is the copyright uh, and just copyright 2018 right and so it's a look good pretty good right it's a completely look like this right so we have a done right so when we click on a home page and when we click sign up today it will uh, it's nothing happened so we, we need to link uh, this page to uh, this page uh, sorry to uh, this page right to uh, this link right so let's go to home right go back to home view and go to application go to view and here is the home.php just drag and drop it here so here is the link we just little bit zoom in right php tag php right and base echo base url right so base url is simply your website url which is this one right and uh, and we need to cop call this uh, controller which is sign up controller so just copy the controller name and paste it here right control s and replace when we click this form will open but there is a problem it this url is not for seo not for search engine optimization right so we need to uh, we need to uh, like this sign up just only a sign up so let's copy this name right and fix it just paste it here and let's open the con uh, roots.php go to application go to config and go to roots.php right and just paste uh, drop it here just little bit zoom in so let's copy we have already uh, seen this this things right so this is a sign up right so just copy this name and paste it here and here is our controller name and controller name is sign up right so paste it here control s and refresh right when we click it here then click it here it's a look nice url but okay it's a look good click it here right it's working everything about us contact us services and sign up so next part we will fill out the some data and we will store this sign up data in a database and also we will uh, uh, validate the some data like a uh, user email email address uh, actually uh, we have forgot a email address email address password we will validate actually we need to fix it to a username right so this is sign up and we need to fix it 
you uh, input username username right just fix it username right user name control s for save and refresh so you can see username email and password right so next part we will store this data in a database and with some validation right so if you like this video you can subscribe my channel and if, if you have any questions and doubt please write a comment and let me know what you think about it so bye take care